Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC along with this uh, altitude CD represented by height H as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we got this uh, angle ABC as uh, 2 times X and this angle uh, ACD as an X. And furthermore, this line segment uh, AD is 21 uh, units and this uh, line segment uh, BD is uh, 28 uh, units and now we are going to calculate uh, this height uh, H. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADC we know that this angle is 90 degrees let me go ahead and call this angle uh, alpha and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem according to this theorem the sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees so therefore in our case sum of all these uh, three angles uh, must be 180 degrees so let me go ahead and write down alpha angle plus angle x plus uh, 90 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now let's move everything, uh, this angle and this angle on the right hand side. So therefore our angle alpha is going to be 180 degrees minus angle X minus uh, 90 degrees. Let's simplify the right hand side. So angle alpha is going to be equal to 90 degrees minus x so therefore i'm going to replace this angle alpha by 90 degrees minus x over here and here's our next step let's focus on another right triangle b c d now we know this angle is 2x this is our 90 degree angle let me go ahead and call this angle beta and now let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem once again the sum of three interior angles uh, are always equal to 180 degrees so therefore sum of all these uh, three angles in this triangle are going to be equal to 180 degrees so let me go ahead and write down angle beta plus uh, angle 2x plus uh, 90 degrees equals to 180 degrees now let's move uh, these angles uh, to the right uh, hand side so therefore our this angle beta is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus uh, 2x minus uh, 90 degrees let's simplify the right hand side so our beta angle is going to be 90 degrees minus uh, 2x so therefore our this angle uh, beta I'm going to replace it by 90 degrees minus uh, 2x over here and now let's focus on this uh, whole angle uh, ACB this is equal to the sum of these uh, two individual uh, angles so therefore I can write uh, this angle ACB as uh, 90 degrees minus uh, 2x plus uh, this uh, angle uh, x uh, as well let's go ahead and combine like terms so that's going to give us uh, 90 degrees minus uh, x so therefore we can see that this whole angle acb turns out to be 90 degrees minus uh, x and now let's make an observation we can see that this angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees minus x and this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees uh, minus x so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle a b c and uh, isosceles uh, triangle since these two angles are congruent so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, a b is going to be equal to this side length uh, b c and we know that this whole a b distance is 21 plus 28 is going to give us 49 units so therefore this distance bc is going to be 49 units as well so therefore we can write that our bc 
distance is 49 units and here is our final step let's focus on this uh, triangle BCD now and now we are going to calculate this height uh, H and since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call our longest leg as our side c I'm gonna call this side a and this side b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula a in our case is h so this is going to become h square plus uh, 28 square equal to 49 square now let's go ahead and move this 28 square on the right hand side so h square turns out to be 49 square minus 28 square and now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square could be written as a minus b times a plus b so therefore this part could be written as 49 minus 28 times 49 plus 28 as you can see in this uh, next step and we know that this uh, 49 minus 28 is uh, 21 and 49 plus 28 is uh, 77 so therefore we can write h square equals to 21 times 77 and here's our next step h square equals 21 could be written as 3 times 7 and 77 could be written as 7 times 11 and now we can see this 7 times 7 is 49 and this 3 times 11 is 33 so therefore I can write h square equals to 49 times 33 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both sides and the left hand side the square and square root is gone so h on the left hand side could be written as let's go ahead and break it down I can write uh, square root of 49 times uh, square root of uh, 33 and now we know that uh, square root of 49 is same as uh, 7 so therefore our uh, height uh, h turns out to be 7 times the square root of 33 units so thus our height h turns out to be 7 times the square root of 33 and that is approximately equal to 40.2 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye